Hi, in the previous meeting we have learned about the name and also the sounds of animal such as cat, horse, cow, bee, lion and others. Then what about the part of animal's body? What are the names of the part of animal's body that you know? Maybe such as head, tail, eyes, ears, and what else? Let's find together in Fun English Learning with Miss Ari. Okay, good morning student. How are you today? I hope all of you are in a good condition. Do you still remember me? Maybe some of you still remember, but maybe the others are not. But don't worry about it. Let me introduce myself. My name is Ari Safina and you can call me Miss Ari. In this video, we are going to learn about the names of animal body parts. After watching this video, I hope that you can repeat and read a lot the vocabulary related to the names of animal's body part and also you can pronounce the word correctly and at last, you can indicate the vocabulary related to the picture that given by the teacher. Okay, before we start our class today, it is better for us to pray first. Let's pray together. Pray begin. Okay, finish. Alright, now I will show you some vocabularies related to the part of animal body. You can write down in your book if you want. Okay, here are the picture. The first is whiskers. Whisker means kumis. Repeat after me. Whiskers. Whiskers. Whisker. Um, for example, the cat has whiskers. And then the next is ears. 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 Ears mean telinga. For example, the elephant has big ears. And then the next, horns. Horns. Repeat after me. Horns. The meaning of horns is tandu. For example, the goat has horns. And then the neck is tas. Repeat after me. Tas. Tas. Tas means girding. For example, the elephant has tas. And then the next is wings. Repeat after me. Wings. 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 Wings mean saya. For example, the bird has wings. And then the next, I also have some vocabulary here. Okay. The next is hums. Repeat after me. Hums. 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 Alright. Hums means punu. Okay, for example, the camel has humps. The next is cell. Repeat after me. Cell. Cell. Cell means changkang. For example, the turtle has cells. The next is tas. Oh, I'm sorry. Trunk. 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 Trunk means belalai. Example, the elephant has trunk. And then the next, a man. 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 It means rambut singa. Yes, for example, the lion has man. And then the next is tail. Repeat after me. Tail. Tail. Okay, tails mean acorn. For example, the goat has tails. 
and then also there are some vocabularies okay there are fins repeat after me fins 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 means city for example the fish has fins and the next is antenna antenna um it means antenna for example the n has antenna and then the next is legs repeat after me legs 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 all right so the meaning of legs is kaki okay for example the cow has four legs and then the next is hoofs repeat after me hoofs 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 all right so the meaning of hoofs is um kuku kuda for example the horse has hoofs and then the next or the last is tentacles repeat after me tentacles tentacles okay for example the octopus has tentacles tentacles mean tentacle okay after this i will show you one of uh, the picture of animal and then i will ask you to identify the part of animal's body according to the picture here's the picture okay i will give you several seconds to identify that picture start from now okay let me check it together there are trunk trunks mean what blalai and then the next is tas tas mean gadi and then eyes mata and then head kepala and then ears telinga and then tail ekor and at last legs kaki now we are going to play a match game here i have several vocabulary in english related to the names of animals body part and then here i also have several bahasa vocabulary bahasa words related to the meaning of animals body part okay you know in english vocabulary i have fins cell whiskers ears and trunk and then for the meaning i have belalai sirip cangkang kumis and telinga i ask you to match the english vocabulary to the appropriate meaning in a bahasa i will give you five seconds to match it you can do it in your book start from no okay have you done okay let me check it fins what is the meaning of fins what sirip all right good and then the next cell what is the meaning of cell chunkan good and then the next whiskers what is the appropriate meaning of whisker kumis all right good and then the next is ears what is the appropriate meaning for ears telinga 
Again, then the last trunk. What is the appropriate meaning for trunk? Belalai. Good. You did a great job. Okay, now we move to the guess the name of animal games. In this section, you will see some characteristic of animals and then I will ask you to guess the name of animal that appropriate with that characteristic. Are you ready? Let's start the games. The first question. It is big. It is grey, it has white tusks, it has also a curly trunk, it has four legs and one tail. What is it? Can you guess it? I will give you three seconds to read the text and answer this question. Three, two, one. What is it? All right, it is open. Okay, now we move to the second question. It has one tail. It has one mood. It lives in the water. It has some fins. It has no legs. What is it? Can you guess it? I will give you three seconds to read the text and answer the question. Three, two, one. What is it? Alright, it is fish. The third question. It has one mood, nose, and tail. It has two eyes and two ears it has four legs it is brown it have hooves it has some nee why is it can you guess it i will give you three seconds to answer it three two one okay Said it loudly. I can hear you. Oh, all right. It is horse. You do a great job. Next, it is the last question. It has one mood, nose and tail. It has two eyes and two ears. It has four legs. It lives in the desert. It has humps. Why is it? I give you two seconds to answer it. Three, two, one. Please say it loudly. I can hear you. All right. It is camel. Great. You are a great student. Yup. This is the end of our video. Thank you for watching and joining this class. You are all the great student. Before I close this video, I will make a simple review related to the materials today. Okay, now can you mention the name of the part of animal's body? Yes, it is such as cell, hams, horn, trunk, tusks, legs, and more. Good. And don't forget to do your exercise related to the material about the part of animal's body in the description box here. Just click on the link. Do you understand? Alright, before we close our class, let's pray together and pray begin. Okay, you finished? And goodbye, see you in the next video! Five, four, Five, four, three, two.